guys. So this video is actually going to be pretty special to me. I want to work with this guy individually for quite some time. And uh, that is actually Coach Rob. Uh, Coach and I, we, we've worked together before, but it was more so on a large reviewer collaboration, never individually. The concept of this video is actually fragrances that you discovered during your journey that really means the most to you. And the, the first one that I want to talk about is actually this one, Canali Black Diamond. Now, what me... What I really like about this one the most is that it really doesn't get a lot of talk about in the community just because it is discontinued along with all the other Canali fragrances. But the first time I ever heard about this one was either through Cristo or through Cubby. And what I like about this one is that it's, it's classy, it's mature, and I don't mean old man mature, it's just maturity to me is the way you carry yourself, the way you think, the way you act. And this fragrance is definitely that. It's, it's Italian, it's got that Italian feel. It's got leather, citrus, woods. Um, it's got so many notes, it's, it's, it's unreal. And they say that fragrances are meant to be for you. You know, that you don't want to smell like somebody else. And I have stated on camera that I personally don't care if I smell like somebody else. But this one here is definitely something like that I don't want to smell on somebody else. I, it's just, to me, it's very unique and it's interesting for my state, uh, for my taste. Can I, can I only black time? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob, 619, back with another video. Um, this one is so starting off with the first one. Um, Creed Millicene's Imperial. Now this one for me, I mean, a great fragrance. This was the second, I think, Creed that I ever smelled. The first one being um, G.I.T. And when I smelled G.I.T., I thought it was, um, I thought it was a great fragrance, but it didn't blow me away. It smelled familiar to me. Most of you probably wouldn't know why that, that smelled familiar, but it kind of smelled familiar to me. And I was like, you know, for the price tag, I don't I don't know if I want this one, but I bought a couple more samples. And when I came across this bad boy, um, I fell in love. This is the fragrance that made me, in my journey, that made me dig deeper into the Creed house and discover that this is my favorite um, fragrance house. You know, because, I mean... After smelling the vintage and silver mountain water, original vetiver, original satire, on and on and on, I kept finding fragrances that I absolutely loved and absolutely enjoyed. And uh, this one was, you know, the catalyst for that. Uh, Millicent Imperial, and like somebody, some say this smells like um, other fragrances too, like um, Eric Hardy's. I think it was Love and Lust. I think I did the comparison. Um, Sean John, and I, I never smoked. I smoked this before Sean John's Unforgivable, so. I, I never had that comparison to make, you know what I mean? This, this was my first um, experience with that aquatic, salty kind of watermelon vibe uh, fragrances. So this this blew me away. So this was one of my journeys, one of my fragrances I discovered on my journey that absolutely happy I found it and because of the community, I found it. The other one is actually going to be my very first niche purchase. Um, it was actually a decan I got from one of the reviewers, but this is actually going to be a travel atomizer. Um, at the time, I really didn't believe in spending a lot of money on fragrances. I still don't to some degree, but this one here, I really wanted just more of a, a travel spray, and that is Boyce 1920 Sushi Imperial. Now, what makes this very special to me is this is one of the very best fragrances I've ever come across. I've stated this many times on camera. This is dessert in a bottle, like that warm apple crisp with vanilla ice cream melting all over it with, um, with cinnamon. Just absolutely phenomenal. It's got star anise, vanilla, cinnamon, uh, there may be some citrus, I don't know. Some other spices. It's just an amazing work of art. It's unisex, it's sexy, it's playful, and it's definitely classy. So, Boyce 1920 Sushi in Number two, this is um another fragrance that, because of uh, YouTube, some of you great reviewers out there, um, a lot of people talked about Bond's Bleecker Street. Now, when I used to go to um, Nordstrom's and stuff like that, I would see all these little star bottles. And I thought they were all female bottles. I, I had no idea that they had men and female and they were unisex. I just seen them, seen the price tag and kept it pushing. I went to go look for the, the designer, the $75 bottles. But becoming into this, um, coming into this, this uh, fragrance community, I got a sample of this. And when I smelled this, absolutely fell in love. This is probably one of my best, one of my top, five top five fragrances of all time this is the one of the best smelling fragrances that i ever smelled in my opinion so um you gotta try breaker street if you have it. crazy compliments with this one 
great, fresh, kind of citrus, blueberry, almost gourmandish, vanilla type note, great fragrance. One, one of the best, period. Um, speaking of the best, I'm gonna jump right into my favorite fragrance that I ever smelled. The other one is actually gonna be a cheapy and a goodie, and it's from the house of Salvatore di Ferragamo, and that is F Black. Now, this is gonna be my second, this is actually my second bottle. The first time I ever bought this one was a blind buy. Um, I liked it, and then maybe after a few wearings, I thought there was too much pepper. I ended up selling it to a friend until last summer when I got, or summer of last year when I got reacquainted, and I'm like, I gotta have this again. It's got lavender, citrus, pepper, and other notes. Uh, very classy, very mature, very versatile, just an overall great signature scent for those colder seasons. Um, the first time I ever come up, I came across this one, well, I originally thought that it was the other, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like F, but it was like the blue. It was the exact same shape, bottle, design, everything. Uh, it just was had like a blue Ferragamo and blue F. You know, uh, the first time I came across that one was actually watching Rose Away, and I thought that I was actually smelling that one. Turned out to be a mistake. Even though I do like the one that uh, Mark was talking about, this one was, uh, even though it was a mistake, was, uh, ended up being uh, a better purchase for me. So that's one of the, uh, this is one that really means a lot to me. Salvatore F. Black from Ferragamo. Coming in, this is one. This is the third one I'm reviewing, but Frappins 1270 is by probably the best fragrance I personally ever smelled. This 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 smells so good, and it's, it's ironically I don't get that many compliments with it. This is not one of my most complimented fragrances, um, probably because the performance is kind of weak on this one. But as far as scent alone. This to me, personally to me, smells better than pretty much anything I ever smelled. I, I saw that's how how good this one is. You know what I'm saying? Great fragrance. If you still haven't smelled this, Frappes 1270, make sure you go get your bottle. The other one is actually another Ferragamo fragrance, and Ferragamo is actually my favorite house at the moment. And this one is from their Tuscan scent, which is they have this is from their exclusive line. They got two two exclusive lines. You got the Tuscan Soul and you have the Tuscan Scent. The Tuscan Scent is the Eau de Parfum, so they're more concentrated. They have three fragrances: White Mimosa, which is this one here. They have the Golden Acacia and the Incense Wood. This one really is my favorite out of the three. This is I don't want to say it's a metrosexual kind of fragrance. Just metrosexual is definitely overplayed out. It's just it's overused. It's overplayed out, you know. But if you're a man like like my favorite YouTuber at the moment, or one of them, is Alpha M Aaron Marino. A lot of you guys, I am absolutely positive you have come across his channel. If you have like a sense of style like him, this is what that fragrance is. You know, it's it is unisex. It's got white florals, a lot of floral, like it's got different floral notes, but also white florals, citrus, neroli, has some orange blossom, spring, fall, and summer nights. I think. It's just a phenomenal fragrance, and I came across this one um, last year. It, came, it, it actually just came out around this time last year in 2014. Uh, Holt Renfrew, our luxury store, my most expensive fragrance in my collection. So, Ferragamo's White Mimosa Tuscan Scent. All right, fellas, here goes the fourth bottle on my list. Um, a lot of you guys know about this one. A lot of people love this one. Um, my girlfriend loves this one, and this is I'ma Watch Reflection Man. Another great fragrance um, that I found along my journey. And I would have never, I mean, they don't sell this anywhere here in San Diego. I don't even think I could find this in LA. You know, they do sell that Lucky Scent in LA. But I would have never went to Lucky Scent, AKA Scent Bar, without you guys either. So I would have never found it about the Amouage house. Um, and with the price tags, I would have never purchased one. But throughout my journey, I, I found this fragrance. And, and I've compared this to Lamar um, a lot. Some people said it doesn't smell anything like it. To me, it does, but um, I think I told this story before, but I have a friend who wears Lamar. That's his signature scent. And how Lamar smells on him, this smells on me. And what I mean by that is that with him, uh, Lamar, it, smell, it smells great, man. I mean, it, it smells terrific. But on me, with my skin chemistry, Lamar smells like garbage. I mean, it's, it's just, it's real, like, I don't want to say rancid, but it's it's, just, it's nasty, homie. I, I just can't wear it. Um, and on me, this reflection, man, it reminds me of how good that Lamar smells on him. 
So, I mean, you guys know about Lamar. It's like a mint, fresh, kind of vanilla bomb. Um, real great. Women love it. This is probably great for the winter for you guys out there in the East Coast or cold climate areas. One, one of the best in my collection um, at what it does. The other fragrance is actually another Italian house. <laughs> I have a... I guess I have a thing for Italian uh, fragrances, you know, but this is an Italian car company. It's a luxury car company. Um, when they first started coming out with their own fragrance line, they really weren't all that great. But in the last couple of years, they really revamped and put a lot of time and quality into it. This one is Ferrari Bright Neroli. Uh, I've stated this on camera many times. This is a more toned down version of Tom Ford's Neroli, Neroli Portofino. It's got a ton of Neroli, citrus, orange blossom. Um, I don't know if it has any woods or musk, I'm really not sure, but it doesn't have a lot of notes. Clean, fresh, out of the shower type of fragrance. Spring, summer, just absolutely phenomenal. A lot of the Fer uh, Ferrari uh, fragrances that come in this shape, a lot of them from what I smell are very similar to the, the Tom Ford Private Blend collection. Um, Swire your jacket, I know, but uh, these are just absolutely fantastic, you know, especially for one third the price. Unfortunately, they're not in the States. I don't know when or if they will be. Um, I think that they should be because they definitely would sell a few of them. So, Tom Ford Neroli, sorry, <laughs> Ferrari Bright Neroli, the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino knockoff. All right, guys, this one you all know about. This is one, this is one of the prized possessions in my collection. Um, it was hell finding this one, the hardest fragrance to find in my collection by far, and that's DHI man, everybody's favorite. You know what I mean? YouTube King right here. Um, this one, you know, gray lipstick, chocolate vanilla. This smells more like a powdery chocolate vanilla on me. It does have that strong iris lipstick note vibe, but the performance on this, this is probably yeah, I would say this is probably the best performing fragrance, one of the best performing fragrances in my collection. It's like two or three that performs as good as this. When I say performance, I'm talking about 15, 16 hours on skin, three days, four days on your clothes. I mean, it, it, it goes forever. And obviously, this is, the, this is the original formulation with the silver collar. Um, great fragrance. If you haven't seen my Believe the Hype on this, how I found this, and you want the background on that story, go check that video out. Great fragrance. Would not have found this without you guys out there in the YouTube community. And the last one in this video is going to be from the house of Hugo Boss, and that is Hugo Boss Silk and Jasmine from the collection line. This is their exclusive line that is not so popular, and it, well, actually, it really wasn't popular to begin with. Uh, the only other person to even mention this very fragrance was, um, I think it was Fragrances with Steve, a gentleman from the, um, Europe. Uh, this has got clove, honey, vanilla, and uh, jasmine. Uh, one of my most favorite fragrances of all time. Uh, it's unisex, it's spring. Well, you can't even wear it in the spring. I think it's more of a transition into spring. Definitely fall and winter. This is unisex going out, a gentleman's fragrance. Rob, if you have a Hugo Boss Boutique in San Diego, because I think that for the most part, you can only come across these in a lot of the Hugo Boss Boutiques, especially if you're in a larger city like uh, Toronto, New York, San Francisco, I, I've seen them in those because I've traveled to all three of them. Oh, I'm from Toronto, but New York and San Francisco, I've come across them. Uh, San Diego, maybe. Los Angeles, without a doubt, would. You know, uh, they were going for about $145 American last year, and they're going for as low as $85 online now. I think it was beautyspin.com. Not exactly sure, but Rob, if you can, look into this one. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one. So, and uh, you also, like, like as you state, you only wear fragrances that, depending on what the ladies say, and I think the ladies will definitely like this one. So, uh, Hugo Boss, Silk and Jasmine from the collection line. Okay, guys, everybody that's just following my channel, you know about this one. Um, call this one my um, wedding scent. Great, clean, lavender, leather, um, barbershop kind of vibe. Real gentleman, man. This is this is of a classic, man. If there was a, I know you guys heard that classic man song out there, but if there was a, a definition for that. This this would be this one right here, Invasion Barbar, great clean, classic man, gentleman, upscale fragrance um, that I absolutely love. This one projects and um, performs pretty good too. I don't wear it that much. I probably wore it three times, but I'm saving this. You know what I'm saying for my wedding scent. Whenever that day comes, this is what that would be. Um, great, great fragrance, great clean, 
barbershop, leather, suede kind of vibe to it, a little bit of vanilla, great scent. All right, guys, this is my last fragrance. Um, this is absolutely the best citrus I've ever smelled, best performance citrus, best projecting citrus um, by far. And um, you guys probably already know what that is. Probably just got this in my collection not too long ago. But that's Zerdroff Neo. So this is one of the best fragrances, best citrus fragrances I found um, throughout my journey of collecting fragrances. And this is just a great one. Um, obviously, citrus, um, <laughs> like Neroli's kind of floral. Um, it, and it just projects like a beast. I don't know what they put in this fragrance to make it last this long, but um, just like DHI, I get about 12 to 14, 15 hours on this. Um, clothes, probably not as long on my clothes, maybe a day, but um, you can't go wrong. That's another one I don't wear that much. I should wear it more, but I just, I just want to hold on to the juice. And I don't want to buy one of these expensive ass bottles again, so um, I don't wear it that much. But when I do, I, I blow people away with this one, man. I always, I always get the, what are you wearing? Where did you get that from? And I try to explain it to them. And obviously, most people don't know about Zerdroff. And, and once again, like the Amawash fragrance, um, I wouldn't have found this one. I mean, it does, they don't sell it nowhere out here in, um, in um, San Diego. So the only way I would have found out about this is through you guys, through other reviewers through base notes, through through the fragrance community. You know what I mean? That's why I really enjoy this community. I, I, I enjoy the people that I interact with. I enjoy the people that share ideas. Um, you guys that come to my raw reviews page and just like, hey, check this new one out. I just smelt it. Or, hey, man, I got a sample of this. I need to send this to you. You need to check this out. I appreciate all that. And that's what makes the community such a great one is those that want to share and, and want to help out others. You know what I mean? But that's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to see what you guys discovered on your journey. What fragrances that you gravitate to, which ones impressed you, which ones, you know what I mean, are like your um your prized possessions. I mean, share it down below with some of your other reviewers, you know what I mean, create a video like this and let us know what fragrances that you found on your journey that are must-haves and just really impressed you that will be staples in your collection um, for the time to come. All right? Peace. Depending on what the lady said, determines what I spray. Out of here. Now those are my picks. Again, Rob, thank you very much for, uh, for, for doing this video with me. Again, it really does mean a lot, so I thank you. Uh, if you're new to, new to the community, you know, and you haven't come across Coach yet, really, you have to. Come on. Rob is one of the best guys out there. He's also one of the realest and uh, one of the coolest. He's got that swag, that real chill dude. Um, uh, but yeah, so check him out. His channel link will be down in the description below. Rob, again, thank you very much. That is our video but Rob's idea so guys we'll see you later take care and bye